Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. We are continuing on our way out to Beagle Point, as evidenced by our destination heading off in uh, this direction. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a regular member here, just go ahead and skip ahead until we're done with this. Uh, we are heading out from the bubble over here. We've already passed through the center of the galaxy and visited the great black hole at the center of the galaxy. We are currently here and heading out to Beagle Point. Let's go ahead, get off the ground, up into space, and on to the next waypoint. If you're just joining us on this journey, the purpose of it is to work on our exobiology rank as well as make all kinds of money so we can afford to buy a fleet carrier and get to the point where we're able to kind of just hang out in the black, not even having to come back to the bubble anymore because we'll have all of our ships and everything with us. So that's the plan. There is a uh, cycle of operations that we do when we hop into a system. We will pop the discovery scanner to see how many planets there are, hop into the full spectrum system scanner to see if there are any high value planets, those being Earth-like worlds, ammonia worlds, and water worlds. And then after that, if there are 15-ish or less bodies in a planet, or in a system, sorry, we will go ahead and do a full-on individual scan of all the bodies, looking to see if we can find any biological signatures. So, that is the way that we're doing things right now. Since there are only eight bodies in this system, let's go ahead and do our, do our full-on scan. Mm -hmm. Looking for biological features up there in the top right where it says features. So far, nothing. Alright, so unfortunately we didn't find anything. Let's move on to the next system. Come on. All right. Don't really have a topic of conversation yet again. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below uh, requesting things that you'd like to hear, discussion, whatever, <laughs> something like that. Um, I've been. I haven't really had much time to watch things lately and sometimes I get my ideas from just watching YouTube and uh, why uh, watching YouTube and just uh, killing time and a lot of times I'll get an idea for a topic of conversation when I do that but uh, give me just a second Trying to multitask. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we'll get lucky and find a really good planet that has several biological signatures on it. Go make ourselves... Well, I don't know. Part of me wants to just do a bunch of jumps today. I'm kind of hoping we don't find anything just because it would be nice if we could get 10 or 15 jumps into an episode. While it's great to continually find biological... Oh. Okay. I guess we need to reconnect then. Not sure what just happened. <laughs> um, I wonder if that was my connection or the game's connection. Either way, we'll find out in a second. Is it going to let me back in? That's the question. Okay. So now I think we have to re-do our route there. Did it? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Well, I guess we, uh, I guess we'll have to set a new route then. Let's try going way out over here and see. That is, uh, pretty annoying, if I'm honest. That seems like a good route. That's more than a little bit annoying. 
now we have to wait for the galaxy map to get around get around to uh, popping something out there for us. Hmm. What the heck is going on here? Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and hope. hope. Wow, okay. I'm not sure what's happening here. We'll try going like Try this one. What do you mean? Okay, come on, stop screwing with me and just plot the route. Okay, I'm becoming more than just a little bit annoyed now. This is this is ridiculous. Come on. Stop screwing with me and just plot a route. Jeez. Double check and make sure we're actually heading in the correct direction. Yeah. Right, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm not sure what happened there. That was ridiculous. Part of me kind of wants to find a fleet carrier so I can sell off all my data. <laughs> uh, maybe we, I don't know. We might we might try to do that. Let's see. Well, I don't know. I have to type. I would have to type in. Uh, let's see. I, th I think Anara can tell me if there's a fleet carrier near me. Oh, dang, we're really, uh, lost a bunch of fuel there. So there's nine bodies in this system. We'll go ahead and do a, we'll go ahead and do a full-on scan real quick. Come on. That one, and then scan of that one. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, I thought it said I thought it had a feature there. I was about to get excited, but unfortunately, it did not. Oh, there we go. How far away? It's about almost a thousand light seconds. So that's good because uh, while we're while we're in transit. I will see if maybe we can find a fleet carrier near us. Let's see, does this tell me where I can find search nearest? So we are in B L E A E A U B X X dash R C five dash zero. Hmm. B L E A E A U B X X dash R. Not finding it. Hmm. Gotta do the loop of shame because I was distracted. No, I don't want to ignore fleet carriers. Oh, I thought I. I clicked off the window. I know this is distracting. I don't know when I when I run into weird bugs like this, I get a little bit self-conscious, and I kind of want to see if maybe we can find a place to sell off what we have so far, so that way we don't have any issues. But unfortunately, I'm having a heck of a time trying to get this to.
Hmm. And R, I can't find this. Uh, can't find this system. It's got A E H and A E R B, but it's not finding where we are now. So that's mildly frustrating. Let's see. Can I see what region we're in? Newton's Vault. Newton's Vault. How about we stop and uh, do the scan here? So we'll do one and two. Let's see what we got there. The problem is, is that we're in an entire region here. So we got Bacterium and Tussock. So we'll do Tussock. Get this turned off. We're already too close to the planet. Actually, let me switch modes here. Okay, I want to make sure we're on the light side. Go over here. Orbital flight engaged. Get ourselves. Do that. <laughs> Hit too steep, and then we're gonna miss the glide. So let's just do. I guess we'll go down in this area here. Should be able to find some tussock and bacterium because both of those are generally in the flatty, flat-ish areas. Be a long glide down to the surface. Let's get ourselves down and see if we can find some grass. And some bacteria if we happen across it. Just depends on if the color is correct. Get our landing gear down to get into ground maneuvering speed. Get our night vision turned on. Makes the grass easier to see. Actually. Oh, nope, there it is. Right here. Can I land? There we go. All right. We'll hop out of here. We'll go get some... We'll go scan some blades of grass and move on and find two more. And then we'll grit our bacteria. Some, oh, I was about to say, for some reason, I could have swore we landed right next to a patch of the grass. I don't know why I had such a hard time. I wonder if the galaxy map will tell me if there are any fleet carriers or something like that nearby. That would be nice. I don't believe it does, but I could be wrong. Nope. Flat area, give me a flat area. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you son of a bear. There's all this flat area here. What's the deal? Stop screwing with me. Give me a landing spot. This is asinine and stupid. All this flat area around here, and we can't land on any of it. Oops. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not what I meant to do. I'm trying to close this and so I can see all of my stuff. All right. Uh, one more to go. 
super distracted right now because I was hoping to find some information on the fleet carrier, but I might have to... Uh, the, the Inara website could not find the system that we're in, so oops, wrong button. I was trying to press N for night vision. That is not the default key binding if you don't play this game, so don't go looking for it there. Should be able to grab the bacteria. Really like it when we're able to land right next to the source so we don't have to run very far. Saves a lot of time. All right. Now we gotta go find the bacterium around here. Come on. Fortunately, the bacteria on this planet is pretty light colored in contrast to the sand or the dirt. So it should be relatively easy, quick and easy to get this done. Weird. They don't normally show up on uh, rocks like this. This is actually kind of different. Usually they're on very flat surfaces. Hop in here. Oh, come on. There we go. I pressed the I pressed the E key, but then it didn't bring up the menu. Then I pressed the space bar and it made me jump instead of instead of trying to get in the ship. All right, one more. Or yeah, I think it's just one more, right? One more bacterium. These reverse thrusters suck. There we go. All right, I think we're just gonna go ahead and call that an episode with the amount of time it would take us to get off the planet and jump, do several jumps to find another place to land. It's just, I don't think it's really worth the amount of time it's gonna take to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and call it there. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Oh wait, this is only the second one. I am a dummy. Never mind. Never mind. We have to get one more. <laughs> we have to get one more. Um. Okay. For some reason, I thought we had already gotten one already, but I just am not paying attention. I'm very super distracted right now because I have another task I'm trying to get done in parallel with this because I just don't have time to do to focus on one thing at a time right now. I have I need to get this other thing done too. It's not something I have to be actively doing all the time, but it needs to get done and I, I need to get it done in a timely manner. Uh, so I'm having to go back and forth between recording and doing and recording and doing that because I, I just I have to do it. <laughs> and voila. So I'm, I'm I'm hyper mega distracted, but I need to get videos out because my channel is all about uh, video count, not necessarily the highest of video quality. Okay, anyways, hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you did and sends the video out to as many people as possible. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you. Uh, if uh, you would like to do a one-time contribution rather than an ongoing subscription, there is that thanks button, which is also another way to contribute in a more one-at-a-time kind of thing. Uh, your direct support is greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys have been, have been enjoying the journey, and I will see you for the next one.